Hi guys, I'm Randy with BRS TV, and today we're talking about the Reef Octopus Regal Internal Protein Skimmers, equipped with the fully adjustable Varios DC Skimmer Pumps. In this spotlight, we'll show you what they come with, help you size one for your tank, and walk you through everything from assembly and setup to maintenance, as well as some optional accessories. Coupled with the highly rated Reef Octopus Varios DC powered pumps, the Reef Octopus Regal internal skimmers are some of the top performing DC powered skimmers out there. And because they include the Varios pumps, you not only get an extremely quiet skimmer, but you also get an added layer of adjustability with five pump speeds to choose from, as well as two feed mode options for 15 or 60 minutes. These Regal internal skimmers, often referred to as the INT skimmers, utilize the pump on the outside of the skimmer body, which allows you to inject air and water at the bottommost portion of the skimmer body, meaning that it utilizes the full height of the body for increased contact time and ultimately increased performance. If you have the space, choosing a skimmer like these Regal INT skimmers with the pump outside of the body will produce the best results. Also, by locating the pump on the exterior, you can cut down on general skimmer maintenance as it's only a 30 second process to remove the pump. Lastly, these are one of the only skimmers that include built-in float switch control to power off the skimmer when the cup is full, which can keep the waste and skimmate from spilling back into the tank. And along with that, it has 0 to 10 volt control capability for those with very unique or advanced installation desires, meaning that it has been certified by Neptune as being Apex ready and fully controllable through the Apex Cloud Fusion interface. The Regal 150, 200, 250, and 300 internal skimmers are great choices for tanks all the way up to over 400 plus gallons. And to help you size one for your tank, let's talk about the tank ratings for each one and the footprint space you'll need in your sump to add one to your tank. A wide majority of reefers are typically within a medium to well stock ranges in their tanks. So with that in mind, the Regal 150 is a good fit for most tanks from 40 to 100 gallons. The Regal 200 for tanks around 100 to 175 gallons. The Regal 250 will work best for tanks from 175 to 250 gallons. And finally, the Regal 300 will handle those very large systems with tank volumes from 250 to 400 gallons. If you find yourself on the edge or in the middle of these recommendations, choosing the undersized skimmer will often be easier to adjust and find consistent performance than oversizing one, so I would likely select the smaller of the two unless I knew for sure that my fish load and feeding habits were going to be abnormally high for a tank that size. Moving on to the footprint of each skimmer and making sure it'll fit in your sump, the 150 INT will need a skimmer chamber size of just under 11 and a half inches by 7 and a half inches and has a total height of 22 and a half inches tall. Just remember to allow a couple extra inches for each of these skimmer heights for removal of the skimmer cup. The Regal 200 INT is just under 14 and 3 quarter inches by almost 10 inches and stands around 23 and a half inches high. For the 250 INT, you'll need a sump area of 16 and a half inches by 11 inches and comes in at 24 inches tall, while the larger 300 INT takes up a footprint of 18 inches by 12 and a quarter inches and stands 25 and a half inches tall. The Reef Octopus Regal INT skimmers come with the skimmer body and a skimmer cup that has a sealed port for the float switch, as well as a drain port with multiple drain plug configurations, which include just the plug itself, a rubber elbow extension and plug, as well as a length of extra tubing, all to help you drain the cup without having to remove it completely. The skimmers also include a robust gate valve and clear drain tube that directs the water down into the sump to lessen splashes and salt creep. There's also the air silencer and silencer bracket, Venturi adapter for the Varios pump intake, and last but absolutely not least, the Varios DC pumps that power each skimmer, with the 150 getting a Varios 2, Varios 4 for the 200 INT, and a Varios 6 for the larger 250 and 300 INT skimmers. Each of the pumps are equipped with the Varios controller with buttons for increasing and decreasing the pump speed, which adjust the contact time, flow, and amount of air injected into the skimmer, a button for toggling between 15 and 60 minute modes and one for turning on the float switch mode as well as a mount to mount the controller up and out of the way. Now that we know what comes with the Regal INT skimmers, let's walk through putting one together with this 200 INT which should take less than a few minutes. First I'll attach the pump to the body with the included rubber gasket between them, screw on the Venturi and add the airline intake tubing, and use a flat tip screwdriver to mount the skimmer air silencer and attach it to the Venturi as well. With that done, I can mount the controller, install the gate valve assembly, run the float switch cord through the lid, then out to the controller, and set the controller float switch mode to on, which I can verify when the green indicator LED is lit up. All that's left to do is put on the collection cup and drop it in my tank. 
A couple of notes on assembling the Regal skimmers. One end of the clear drain output elbow has a vent hole drilled in it, which is there to allow air bubbles to escape before they get back into your sump, so you'll want to install it with the hole facing upward. Finally, as most reefers will choose to do, if you opt to use the float switch, you'll want to make sure that the FS mode is on. And for those of you with more advanced needs in connecting the pump to the Neptune Apex, the Varios controller itself and all of its features will be disabled to allow full control through the Fusion dashboard. Moving on to physical installation of your Regal skimmer to your tank, the 150 has a recommended operating depth of 6 to 8 inches, while the 200, 250, and 300 all recommended to be operated within 7 to 8 and a half inches. I typically choose somewhere in the middle of these recommendations, so for this Regal 200 INT, I'll start with it in 8 inches of water. If you need to make adjustments to your sump water level to match the recommended operating depths, there are a couple of things you can do. For example, if your water level in the sump is too high, you could drain some water from the entire system or place the skimmer on one of these reef octopus platforms which are specifically designed for this purpose. If you need to raise the water level in your sump, you could simply add more water to the entire system or try raising an adjustable baffle if your sump comes with that feature. Either way, just be sure that your sump can handle the extra water if and when the power turns off and the tank drains back into the sump. Setup and use is next, in which case the key to your skimmer operating consistently will be keeping it in a chamber that maintains a very stable water level, then making fine-tune adjustments from there. With that in mind, there are three adjustments we can make to tune the skimmer to meet our specific needs, which include opening and closing the gate valve, which is the primary adjustment method and will increase or decrease the water and foam level inside the skimmer body, adjusting the pump speed, which will increase or decrease the contact time and air and water injection, and adjusting the water level. After my skimmer depth is set, I find a good place to start adjustments is to simply use the gate valve to adjust the water level inside the skimmer to the point where the water bubbles or foam breaks about just an inch under where the collection cup separates from the body. From there, you can leave it for a few hours or even a few days and make smaller tweaks up or down until it's dialed into your desired level. One thing to keep in mind about fine-tuning your skimmer, as with all skimmers, there's typically a break-in period where it may seem like your skimmer isn't producing that thick, dark skimmate, but usually after a few weeks it begins to function normally. This may be a bit longer or shorter for some reefers, depending on your specific tank, but with some patience, it will come around. Also, it's normal for there to be a natural fluctuation in skimmate production, where sometimes your skimmer is pulling out a lot of gunk from the tank, while at other times it may not seem to be producing much at all. This is likely due to the direct availability of dissolved organics within the water column at any given time, or even from things like oils on the foods you feed, or from your hands after you put them in the tank. Skimmers don't typically require a ton of maintenance, so occasionally cleaning the collection cup should be the most you'll need to do in a short term. However, once or twice annually, you could remove the skimmer completely for a full cleaning. Skimmer cup cleaning is as simple as dumping the skimmate down the drain or toilet and rinsing it clean, but it also might be a good idea to use a small cleaning brush for the float switch to make sure that it isn't stuck and works properly when you need it to. Also, don't forget about utilizing the feed mode functions on the Vergos controller, which can help with maintenance as it will shut down the pump long enough to allow you to remove and clean the skimmer cup without having thick bubbles and skimmate pour out of the skimmer body. For more robust maintenance, you could get a small plastic tub of citric acid solution or vinegar and water solution and let the skimmer run in it for a few minutes to help break up some of that tougher buildup. If you need a bit more cleaning than that, you can also remove the pump's volute and impeller to brush them clean, which is much easier with these Regal INT skimmers since the pump is on the outside of the body and can be removed quickly with one single connection between the pump and body. There's a couple of accessories you can add onto the Reef Octopus skimmers to make them more efficient and to help reduce the frequency of maintaining them. For a more efficient skim by keeping the neck smooth and clean, which allows for more dissolved organics to travel all the way up into the neck into the actual cup, you can add on a Reef Octopus automatic neck cleaner. Some neck cleaners like this one, which fits the Regal 250 INT skimmer, also include a larger port to allow you to still use the float switch. Just be sure to choose the right size for your skimmer and allow for an average of 4 and 3 quarter inches of extra height to account for the motor. Outside of that, you can extend the length of time between cleaning the skimmer cup by picking up one of these Reef Octopus waste collectors with built-in auto shutoff that will shut down the power to your skimmer when the container is full, as well as delay 15 minutes before powering your skimmer back on after a power outage. 
The collector also includes a chamber in the top to house a bag of carbon to help reduce any skimmate odor from leaking into your home. Thanks for watching, and if you have any more questions that we didn't answer here, feel free to give us a call, send us an email, or hop on a chat. See you next time on BRS TV.